What's going on guys? Young Ramsey in this bitch and today there's some really important news that you guys need to know about. Some really exciting news actually. We all know of Zero and the fact that he hasn't really been with the company for quite a while now and he's definitely been analyzing his choices and for good reason of course considering that he's probably the best damn Smash 4 player on the planet arguably by some people but I mean they're in denial most likely. Anyways Today, we actually have an interview going down with Zero where he explains more in depth about his decision to finally partner with the company that he's with. And considering we have an interview with the man, he's right here. What's going on, Zero? Hey, how's it going, guys? How's it going, Erica? Nice to, nice to be here, man. Yeah, man, finally. You know how long we've been planning on doing something together and it finally goes down and this is... This is a cool way to start it off, man. The thing is that every time I want to do something with Erika, I'm like, dude, I'm ready. I have all these ideas. And then he goes and plays like some anime game and like, he forgets about me. <laughs> I can't. I can't how, how am I supposed to resist, man? Those anime games, man. They, 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 they're, so, they're so fun. But I mean, I'm glad you understand at least, Zero. Uh, um, I'm an understanding, man. Yeah, definitely is, man. Um, I met Zero in Vegas uh, for a little bit of time, and you know, from the time that I spent around this guy, he was really cool. He showed me a lot of things which were interesting about control schemes with the 3DS, and you know, and he explained a lot of things to me that I guess me being like not a Smash player pro type wouldn't know. But um, that's not the focus of today, man. So you finally joined TSM, man. Uh, so what are some initial thoughts about this? Hello? Oh no, the internet. The thing is that, the thing is that, can you, oh, can you hear me? Oh, man. Let me see. Oh, you could hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, do, you, do you hear me? Yeah, I hear you now. Yeah, I hear you now. So I'll just cut that part. It's fine. Even if, we, even if the internet messes uh, up, okay. we, I can oh, just that, edit that, the that. video. This is on the fly, on the fly. Hell yeah, this, man. You already know. This is on the fly. Okay. That's the way it is. Better? Yeah, that's good now. Okay, so this is the thing. Um, as you you, know, as you were saying, I got a lot of offers from a lot of different teams. A lot of teams tried to get me before EVO, like a lot of them. Uh, I got some offers after EVO as well. But the thing about teams is that I I have a lot of requirements to join a team. I wanted a team that will... That will essentially, I wanted what I deserved. And I was I was willing to wait for it. So even though I, had, I was attractive to the market, I wanted to wait in the market. I wanted to to wait for the opportunity I was happy with. And after EVO, I was contacted by TSM in person. And yeah, yeah so we had this one meeting. Was this at the event? Yeah, it was at the event. And uh, oh. they were they were talking to me and TSM is my favorite esports team. Not only are, are they one of the biggest teams around, mm -hmm. one of the most popular ones as well, and completely fan favorite. But it's yeah. just the thing is that it's my favorite one. It's like, it's the team I wanted to play for. So the moment they reach me out, I'm just like, me? <laughs> oh, really? And they're just like, me? I'm like, and then the manager, uh, she's like, so yeah, do you want to join TSM? I'm just like, I just, I just move my hand. I'm just like, Sure, yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> really? That's, that's it? That's how it Oh, man. Like, yeah, so yeah you... sure, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll put it on the jacket. Don't worry. Okay, all right. You played real cool status. <laughs> man. Real no, cool just, status. Just... Like, oh, yeah, I'll put it in there. <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, so wait a minute. This is the first time that TSM had approached you? Uh, Yeah. Wow. So you were really waiting out your options. Like, how long did you go without having a company? Uh, I started getting really good offers even before Apex. Oh yeah, of course, obviously. Like at that point, your your streak has still been unbroken. So I mean, dang man. So the talks, like, so I was wondering to myself, you know, how long the talks went on for. But apparently, since Evo was where they approached you, um, and then, you basically. Hmm? The thing is that TSM was the was the team I wanted to play for. So when they reached me out, I was oh. like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> oh okay, that, that was it. The book I'm, the book was closed. I'm taking this. I'm absolutely taking this. Oh, I see. And they yeah. and the offer they gave you was worth your standards as well, too. Yeah, no, no. They gave me they gave me a really good offer as well. TSM is mm -hmm. known for being one of the one of the organizations that takes the most care of their players. They're very careful yeah. with people they work with. They yeah, have and you absolutely know, no drop mm -hmm. organization. They do everything right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and for for those of you who are watching, um. Some of you may not be aware of this. Most of you will be, though. But um, Leffen is actually with TSM as well, too. And he shared the exact same sentiment, saying that they were a great company all across the board. And um, they, they did a lot of great things to help him out, too, in terms of, you know, getting him to venues. And not just that. That was just the beginning. 
Um, so it's, it's really good to hear that you finally have somebody that you feel like is really going to appreciate you as much as you feel you deserve as well, it's considering that you know, you're doing so well in the Smash scene right now. It's also because I'm international, so they have to like take care about my paperwork to play in this country. Because oh. I want to I wanna make Smash literally a sport, right? So, so how do you make Smash a sport? You make it global. Now, how do you make it global? You need paperwork. You need companies to be willing to you know, care about these people, to have them come over and play the game. Now, I'm at, now what if I told you? What if I told you a Smash player got a sports visa to play professionally? Hey, wait, can you please repeat that? That's a pretty hot sentence. What? Now, what, what, what if I told you a Smash player got a sports visa to play Smash professionally from another country? That is insane. A sports visa. Like that? You know what? When you talk about progressing the Smash scene into making it a bigger thing, it's clear you have the visuals down packed, man. Like, you, you, where, where do you see this going? Um, just in general with Smash, like in the next year or two, you know? I, like, I mean, obviously, I can't spill the beans on some of the things going behind the scene. Of course. But what of course, I can yeah. tell you, what I can tell you, and to everyone watching, is that we're doing so many cool things that you will all see eventually, slowly but surely. That when it all comes down to fruition, and when it all comes down to the game getting the support it deserves you guys will just you guys will literally be like damn so this is where smash it's at now and yeah that's just gonna be, it's gonna be like oh this. my it's god gonna like that. it's gonna be too hype i see the game growing Ooh. every year every year we're growing every year it's better in some way or the other uh so i'm i'm obviously very positive and it's like damn i'm just glad i'm a part of it um i will it, 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 it must be very different to live this outside the scene because you don't really know what goes on. You know, you don't know if some topics are just forgotten about or it's just not being worked on. But trust me, we are working our asses off. Hmm, I see. Dang, Zero, I didn't, I mean, of course, obviously I knew that these things went to a really deep level, but the fact that, like, you're confirming that there's some really big projects in the works, there's a lot of things that people can be excited about in the works, this is great news for all of us, especially people that view my channel, because, you know, these guys, we're all about the hype, man. I mean, everyone is at the end of the day, though. That's nothing that's exclusive to just me or you or anybody. Like, we all love the hype. We all love the excitement. And it seems like the TSM partnership is only going to be able to provide even more even more things to anticipate in the future, you know? I mean, this is huge because a lot of people were saying that Smash 4 was not legit. That's why I didn't get sponsors. And I was yeah. I was laughing in the back and I was like, you guys, you guys don't get it. You guys don't get it. <laughs> the, thing, the thing is that um, the game had to prove itself at EVO. That was that, oh. that was the test. That was the test. Mm -hmm. And the moment we got more entrance and melee, it's like, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah I mean, I mean, the game's pretty good, I guess. And <laughs> that was all we needed. Like, Smash 4 was the second biggest game at EVO. It was like, what behind Street Fighter? <laughs> yeah, basically. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's like that's huge, and that that speaks really well about the game. Also, the numbers were really good, even though we had like a really uh, an optimal time slot. We still pull in a good amount of viewers, and the fact that we did that is important. So all all factors decided. Um, once the you know the news start coming and dropping by, you guys will be like, damn, Smash Four, Smash Four. But, uh, oh, but, but on the topic of melee as well, I mean melee obviously you know everyone, everyone likes melee pretty much. Of course. And uh, yeah. I mean melee is not going anywhere. If they got a, if they got a, uh, if they got to host a tournament at a church, they'll yeah they'll, I know they'll right? do it, dude. Melee, melee, <laughs> they'll do melee, it. melee is staying. Definitely is, man. There's a lot of people that um, think the opposite, but I don't see it, man. The numbers look too strong. The the engagement, the the online communities, the people that want to jump in, it's all too high at this point, you know. Even considering melee's um, higher difficulty and learning curve, it still is probably one of the most popular esports to watch right now. That isn't one of like the big Goliaths like League of Legends and whatnot. I mean, the thing that makes it, melee, the thing that makes Smash be one step behind those games is the ex uh, the ex accessibility to this game is like who doesn't have a computer right so of course mm -hmm. you know if they tell you your friends tell you hey man there's this free game in the computer that you can get and play with us sure you'll end up playing anyway but you don't tell your friend hey dude here's a free gamecube and a free controller and a free uh hard hard as fuck to get copy of melee here you go play mm -hmm. melee <laughs> Oh yeah, you're right. If it was accessible like that, a lot more people will play. If it was like a computer and stuff, that would be amazing. It would be crazy if Nintendo got some some guru deal to make Smash on on, on the console, like to make like an oh, official. Oh boy! But imagine they made a melee. <laughs> okay, imagine they made a melee and Smash for release on PC. 
What? Dude, you're, you're starting to sound like one of those speculation Reddit threads, man. Like, if that sounds like some exciting stuff, though, dude. But, it, I mean, but it'd be ridiculous. Like, it would be, it would it be. be honestly ridiculous. And I don't know I don't know if uh, uh, if they can do something like that. I mean, I'm just dreaming here. But, I mean, yeah. I see Smash having a lot of potential. And even though it's hard to get games at all and everything, we're still there. We're still doing our best. We're still working to do things. And that makes a, that gives a statement, you know, for the community. It's like, it's like, yeah, I mean, the game, the games were almost dead. We had no money at some point. We had no sponsors. I mean, I was playing Smash when it had no money, when it had no pop bonuses, when it had 200 men nationals, 100 men nationals even, when, when it had nothing, when it had literally no streams, no nothing. It was just playing yeah. the game. And now that I've seen the whole evolution coming up, I can tell you we're not going back. Definitely not, man. Not with these numbers. Nope. Definitely not with the support that it has right now. And that's one thing as well, too, that you bring up. The fact of accessibility. That's a really solid point that you make, man. Like, I haven't seen anybody that breaks it down in that way. Whereas, you know, that's why a lot of these esports games are big. is because, you know, they're way easier to get their hands on. But you're right, though. Like, if Melee was in more people's hands, way more accessible, then there would definitely be more people playing it. That's for sure. Yeah. This is the thing. It's like, if... Uh if the game if the game changes to that point then we'll see what happens but for now you know we have our own tool so we're doing the best we can and to me it's still amazing that we still play melee because you know melee is like and melee is just rough to run it's like you have to carry these crts and everything and all console everything i think at this point nintendo needs to stop being stubborn i think it would be really good for nintendo if they re-release you know a certain amount of copies of gamecube certain amount of copies of melee Maybe make a special version of GameCube that plays only Melee. Who, who cares? And then put everything unlocked, and then you can. It's like a tournament. It's like a GameCube tournament edition or something. And, I see. Yeah, and then and then resell game controllers. Like Nintendo has money, and it's like they do. I feel like the amount of effort that will take, it's not that big, and it will be like you don't have to make a million copies. So you go on the negatives. You can make like ten thousand copies. You know, it's still mass production, but not super mass production. And I mean, it will make a difference. And then. I mean, we'll see. I'm just having ideas, but... No, uh, it's, it's, they're, they're solid ideas, man. Nintendo said themselves that they're looking to support the eSports scene a lot more often nowadays. And, you, I mean, we all know the history that Nintendo had with eSports. Not exactly the brightest one, but now it seems like they made a full turnaround. So those ideas, I don't think they should just be written off, man. Those definitely have potential in them, especially if Nintendo wants to show some support for their scene. And I think that, I feel like the numbers behind it are a great reason as to why, man, the, the engagement, you know? Yeah, I mean Nintendo has been has been watching uh, has been watching the scene for for a while. They've been they've been behind the scenes. <laughs> like Nintendo, mm -hmm. Nintendo knows. Nintendo knows what's up. Nintendo watches. Like a lot of people say, Nintendo is oblivious, but that is far from the truth. Far from the truth. Far Very far. From the truth. And I mean, I'm really happy they're just they're just there because they could just not be there. A lot of people. Uh, feel entitled where like Nintendo has to be like all these other companies and stuff like that we have to understand you know Nintendo has the way the reason we like Nintendo is because of the way they are right the way the thing that makes Nintendo special the thing that doesn't make Nintendo Microsoft or Sony is the fact that they're Nintendo what I mean with this is that um, you know they have their different their different ideas their different opinions about things so they are they're not used to this topic they're not used to you know they're a family friendly company they're not used to you know, their games being on the spotlight to be a sport, you know, like they're, they're, yeah. they don't they don't make their games with that intent. But instead of shutting us down, you know, they've been they let it happen, you know, because they could just they, they have the power. I mean, in, in the past, you know, we've gotten them to, to even be against us at some point. Yeah. But I mean, it's not like the bigger guys in the company are like saying no. It's just, you know, it's it's the other guys, the legal guys, you know, that Eagles, you yeah. know, they're, they're playing it safe. You know, they're not doing anything wrong. But um, but right now, I mean, look at Evo. It was sponsored by Nintendo. Apex sponsored by Nintendo. Mm -hmm. So so they obviously they know what matters to us, and we'll see a better and bigger relationship with years to come. And I mean, they like what we do. Otherwise, they wouldn't support. Yeah, definitely they do. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about the TSM partnership. Um, so I know it's been, uh, I, I know it hasn't really been that much time since everything pretty much got wrapped up and sent to go. But at this point now, what's TSM's opinion on your YouTube channel per se? Would they be helping you out with gear and whatnot, things to help you grow your channel? 
Mm, the thing is that, um, bro, they, they, they give me a lot, a lot of benefits. One of the nicest things they're giving me out, right? So mm -hmm. they're giving me a new cell phone. Now you have to understand. Now let me tell you my story. A cell phone, okay? This is the sad. Ooh, this is the okay. This is the saddest. So I'm not. I'm not a citizen in this country, right? So yeah. I just come here in the, in the time that my base allows me from the country, which is pretty long. But you know, um, I, I don't have the benefits of a citizen, which is you know to get like, you know, health insurance or things like that. So I'm I'm very unprotected in some areas, right? That's the inconvenience yeah. of me being here. But um, but the good thing is that you know when I went to get a phone because I wanted to have a phone with 4G and you know, a nice phone and everything because I can't afford it. Yeah. And I went to Verizon, right? Because everyone told me Verizon is like a good company. So I went up to the guy. I'm like, okay, I want this. I want the iPhone six. And I want this 4G, and I was like, I had like I had Let's go. I had several hundreds in my hand. I was like, all right, dude, I'm ready for this Woo. decision. And then and then the guy looks at me. He's like, okay, what is your social security number? And I'm like, uh, oh man, I'm I'm like from Chile, you know. And he's like, oh well, here in Verizon, we we have a policy against international customers where we only allow them the most basic basic of plans if they're not a citizen of the United States. And I'm like, I'm like. I'm like, is there any way around this? Like, yes, you can pay a fee of like four hundred dollars, and wow. and then you can bypass that. And I'm like, I'm like, uh, I'll take the I took the iPhone before. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then, that's crazy. Yeah, and so I have like, and I, I can't pay online because you know they don't accept my credit card because it can, it can only be a U.S. credit card, and it's like it's just it's just obnoxious and it's really tedious. And it's just annoying. Damn. So now. Yeah, TSM is hooking me up with a 4G phone, new phone, HTC, dude. I'm just like, all right, please. <laughs> Let's like, go, man. That's like super convenient. Yeah, that's super convenient. They're also giving me a lot of gear. They're pretty much replacing my whole my whole equipment, uh, you know. And uh, Yeah, I mean, it's going to be obviously very convenient. I'm getting a lot of new things, and it's going to be a lot easier. They're also going to help me out with promotion and other things. Like, TSM, TSM is going to make sure that if you guys think I'm doing good right now, you guys will see me doing, like, three times better, you know. That's the thing, man. That's that's the main focus. A lot of people are upset that, you know, people in the Smash community, um, especially in comparison to other esports as well, too, it doesn't really seem like, you know, Smash players have it as easy when it comes to making a living and keeping yourself alive off of playing Smash, you know? So, I mean, the fact that you're able to finally come through, break through with that a little bit with TSM and them supporting you so much and making sure that, you know, you're fed, you're able to go to events, you're able to have the gear you need in order to do what you do, that's really nice to hear, man. Like, I'm... I'm, I'm I'm extremely happy to hear that, dude. I mean, I am just really happy they're interested in Smash. And I, yeah. when I was talking to the, you know, their, their team owner and their manager, I was like, I'm really thankful you guys are, are, you know, interested in Smash because I told them, you know, I, I know you guys could be investing more into League of Legends. Into, it's their main thing, yeah. Yeah, into Counter Strike, into all these obviously bigger games than us, but you guys are giving us a chance. And and you know, they told me it's. Because they they want to see the scene grow, they like what it is, and they want to support it. So obviously, how can you not love them? It's like they 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 even though you know it may not be the wisest financial decision for them, they're doing it because they like what we're doing and they want to see us grow and they see that we have potential to do it. So obviously, when I put on the jacket for TSM, I'm gonna try my ass off because I want to make them proud because they are taking a risk, you know. So obviously, you know, I'm really happy they're doing this, and it's a I think it's it's a great opportunity not only for myself but for the scene as well because the moment the moment TSM picks up a Smash play another one a Smash 4 one then all the other teams are going to be like okay who's the next okay if TSM is into this we need to get into this so then exactly. so then other player gets picked up then other one then other one then other one then before I realize we have you know all these companies in, in Smash in, in the community and then mm -hmm. and then it just goes on from there yeah, like you said, it kind of like starts a compound effect where everybody starts to say, okay, well, you know what? Obviously, there's people that are willing to put themselves into the scene to, in order to see it do better. And like you said, you know, maybe the financial stuff, maybe there isn't that much financial gain for them, but they want to see the scene do well. So obviously, yeah, your partnership now is going to probably open the floodgates for a lot of other people as well, too. And who knows, man? Like I said, I'm excited to see what happens in a year because this is a great move in so many regards. But... um. I also wanted to talk to you about, like, um, for instance, um, did they, I mean, because I, I know these negotiations are early, but did they say anything about, like, possible relocation or things like that, or where you live now is perfectly fine with the new partnership? Well, the thing is that uh, where I live, I live in I live in Los Angeles, California right now. I'm, that's where I'm mm -hmm. located. And their yeah. office is, like, 10 minutes away from my house. So it's like, 
Oh, so really? It's, it's, really oh, yeah. it's really easy. But, uh, but I did mention to them that I would like to move in with my girlfriend at some point, and they were they were, they were were okay with that as well. They're supported. I mean, a lot of their players are from Europe as well, so so it's going to work out. I mean, as long as I can you know do my work efficiently, then it should be fine. But uh, obviously, I'm going to be in L.A. for a while, so it's, I'm, a, I'm a very convenient pickup for them in that aspect. Yeah, okay. So, I mean, most of these companies, if you guys don't know, do have um, offices in L.A. So, you know, that's actually a really great place that you're at right now, to be honest with you. That's why I'm there. And that's what I'm there, man. <laughs> yeah, man. It's, it's all strategic, man. You know, that's one thing as well, too, Zero. A lot of times people are unsure about certain moves. And um, because people usually aren't too vocal, like you said, you had a lot of negotiations going on in the background for a while. But you don't really talk about them too much. And I guess that's the standard across the field. So, I mean, when these things come out, people get surprised. Like, whoa, I didn't know that was in progress. So that's why this is a really cool thing to see, man. Yeah, I mean, everything is a surprise until it gets announced, and it's like, damn, 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 damn. Yeah, man. <laughs> so, another question as well, too. Once again, in regards to the partnership, um, you're streaming. So, what does this mean now? Because um, we did mention gear before, and you, you mentioned that TSM is more than willing to help you out in certain regards with that. So, a lot of people are curious as, you know, the streaming schedule. I know you haven't streamed as much as you used to, per se, but what can people expect now that you're with TSM? Mm, the thing is that TSM likes me for my YouTube area, so I could technically just keep doing exact. I, 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 I can just keep doing what I'm doing because you can just look at me as a YouTuber who plays Smash professionally. That's that's what I yeah. that's what I consider myself as. So mm. TSM is very proud of what I do in YouTube, and they like what I what I'm doing, so they want to see me do more of that. So if, you know, if I stick with that, there's absolutely no, no problem. But they're also partnered with Twitch, so there's a lot of benefits that I get from streaming now. Oh. So, so it's it's very convenient for me to stream. And uh, a lot of people want me to stream. I begin in some ridiculous numbers while streaming. Uh, even though my stream, I, I think I think I do streaming very poorly, because because uh, like I'm a very moody guy. So it's like sometimes if sometimes I'll stream and if I'm tired, I won't talk. And then if like if I'm playing and I get mad at something, I won't talk. So it's like it's like uh, oh, so, so, so sometimes people will like watch me. And that's like no webcam because I don't like webcams, right? I don't like webcams. So so when I stream, I don't have a webcam. Even though I have like literally ten webcams in the house, all HD quality, beautiful things that I use for all different videos, not for yeah. streaming. And it's oh, I like see. not for streaming at all because I used to, I, I do a lot of different shots for things and uh, for all other projects. So when it comes to streaming, I don't use it. So it's like it's just out of preference. And then I'm always like changing my layout. So sometimes I don't have a layout. So it's like a lot of the time you'll see. 1080p 60 fps smash for it and then a good microphone <laughs> and that's my stream yeah i know yeah I, I saw i saw some of your um, recent streams i was like wait 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 why isn't the best smash 4 player on the planet at least showing his face man people were curious but i mean i, I get where you're coming from though. yeah no so so okay so now that i'm, I'm, I'm partnering up with tsm i definitely want to become more consistent with streaming like i i don't want to promise because it's like yeah it's like uh, i don't want to disappoint people but I do want people to know that I want to make an effort to do them better and also to do it more consistently because I think there's a, there's a very big amount of untapped potential that I can use um, for the streaming area to provide more entertainment. So I think I should do it. And also because well, once I start being more in LA, uh, I'm not going to travel as much because my house is full of really good players. So I don't need to travel around to practice. I can just... You just go in the living room and get super good player around to play with me, so whatever. And so I can just do that. So so I'm not gonna be playing online at all. I just absolutely despise playing online. I think it's uh I think it's a good training tool, but I don't need to train, I need to perfect. So so I don't it doesn't help me out. So I get frustrated with it. So so I'll be I'll be doing that um offline practice thing. And then people can come in and watch and then I'll talk about things. Yeah, and I think it's gonna work out. I mean, uh, I can picture myself with a, like a good webcam because I'm I'm so try hard with streaming. Like, if it's not the best equipment, I don't want to use it. So it's like I so I'll be like a try hard about it. You're a try hard too, so you know. I'm an extreme try hard. I mean, yes, I I understand where you're coming from, then. Right. So it's gonna be like a nice webcam, nice layout, nice everything, and then people are gonna watch. I want to do this idea where I want to get a I want to get another piece of audio equipment so I can have uh -huh. two headsets on my setup. So it's like a commentary setup, you know, when like they pick up the headset. So I'll have my friend, the one I'm playing with, and me with a headset. So you'll be able to hear both of us correctly and with no background noise. So I'm, I'm working on things like that, you know. 
So people. So you got plans with it. So so you have things in the works with the whole streaming thing. I, yeah. Okay. I have plans in the work. I have the the budget to do it. It's just, um, it's just I have to make sure it's very well thought and it works out. You know. So. Mm. But yeah, I, I I have a promise with you guys to do it better and more consistently, and uh, hopefully you guys like it. I mean that's the whole point. I mean I am, um, I when I was at some point I was like the biggest Smash streamer. I had like ridiculous amount of viewers. Like last year, it was just ridiculous. Yeah, I remember. It was like it was crazy. Yeah, it was ridiculous. <laughs> and for a lot of it, I I didn't run ads or do things like that because I felt bad. <laughs> so it's like yeah, yeah. Like at some points, at some points, I try to push for like uh, the money aspect a little bit. But then I was like, eh, nah. That's why I like YouTube a lot more because I feel like everyone's already used to the ads, so I don't yeah. feel bad running ads. But when I stream, I feel so bad when I run an ad. And I feel so bad when I make it like a competition between the subs. You know, it's like, okay, if you sub, I do this. I, I don't, I don't know. I feel it feels weird within my personality. It's like when people are going to tournaments and there's like people lining up, making lines to money match me, and I'm like, you don't have to pay me to play me. I'll just play you. The money does not matter to me. Dang, that's crazy, man. No, that's cool though, dude. You know, that, damn. It's just awkward with me when people give me money like that. It's just, it's just, dude. I've been doing this when there was no money. You don't have to give me money for me to care more. <laughs> like, I hear you, man. It's, an, it's enough motivation for me to try to beat you. I see. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's really admirable, dude. I mean, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not here to toot your horn or whatever, but I got to say, man, that's really stand up of you. You know, even though I don't feel like there's anything wrong with, you know, people wanting to support their favorite um, competitive player either, but, you know, that's really cool of you to say, you know. It's not all about the money necessarily because, like you said, the money wasn't always there. So you come from a really down-to-earth standpoint with this whole thing, you know? Yeah, that's why I like when I stream. I just let people do whatever they want and it's like that. Like, a lot of the time I don't have sun notifications, not because I don't know how to do them, but because I feel bad. Because I know that if you have sun notifications on, then it encourages more people to do the same thing that they're seeing on screen. So it's like it's like you're controlling them in some way, and I don't like that. It just feels so weird. It's like I know what I'm doing. I'm like I'm not stupid, and it's like it just works. So it's like if someone donates a big amount of money, I usually just private message them and not leave it on stream because I don't want to do it on stream so I get more donations. It's I'm like that. I understand where you're coming from. Yeah, I understand. It, it, it's it's somewhat like a like a like a, like, a, like a conscious thing, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'll I'll, I'll try to be more mainstream with streaming, I guess. You know, try to like. Yeah, because people want to see you. You know that, right? <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll make an effort to be more mainstream, if whatever that means. But, <laughs> but yeah. Oh man, and I remember earlier that you mentioned that um you had plans to move in with your girlfriend, and obviously you're both very proactive when it comes to the Smash team. She's with you at events. Um, she actually plays the game herself. And she's extremely supportive as well, too. So one question that I had in general was, you know, what's her opinion of TSM? Like, did she view them as a good company? Hey, you know? hey Vanessa. Are you, are you, are you awake? <laughs> okay. Oh, man. That, Eddie Cass, you're waking up for you. <laughs> huh? What? Okay, come here. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> okay. So Eddie Cass oh, asking, um, what do you think about me getting sponsored by TSM? <laughs> I, I wish I could see what's she going just, on right now. She just turned around and then she, she put the blanket on her. Wow. <laughs> that's, what, that's what she thinks? Damn. <laughs> oh, she <laughs> thinks put the blanket I, I, on. I saw it coming. You saw it coming? Oh, man. But are you are you happy? Are you yeah, are you angry? Okay. Okay. She's angry? Yeah, you, <laughs> oh, man. Wait, 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 to the left. Talk to the left. Real quick. <laughs> okay. She says she's really happy. Okay, yeah, that could be heard in her voice. She sounded enthusiastic, man. <laughs> what did she say? Oh, man. She said I deserve the best. Yeah, definitely do. That's for sure. It's good to see that you have that much support going on in your corner, man. You know, considering that you're from Chile as well, too, you know, and I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I can't say from, like, myself, but I, I'm guessing that, you know, you're, you're really making people proud over there. In Chile? Yeah. Hmm. You know what's funny is that... Um, Chile is, I think they're kind of 50 50 about me. Really? Yeah. In terms of the acquisition or other in things? In terms of support, because um, the thing is that the scene in Chile is really, Chile as a country is really weird about supporting people from their country that do well. Because there's a term in Chile in which we call chaqueteros, which means mm. that uh, when someone's being successful from your own country, you put them down. 
because you don't want to see them do well. And it's like a really well-known term in my country because it happens all the time. And so, for example, you'll see like a sports player win something cool inside the country. And a lot of people will make fun of that person or like not really support him at all. So, so when it comes to me, there's a lot of people that give me shit for my country. Like... Like U.S., if you if, if I had like an acceptance rate acceptance rate in the U.S., it's like almost perfect. Like everyone is so nice from the U.S., but uh, and and all over the country really, Mexico, all over the world really. When it comes to Chile, it's really fifty fifty sometimes. Uh, some people give me a lot of shit, but a lot of people give me a lot of praise. Obviously, I focus on the positive things, but I will lie to you if I told you it's it's all pretty. Okay, well that's real life, I guess. You know, I mean, yeah, I get, you know, different customs and whatnot. But, you know, the thing is, is that, you know, even despite knowing, because, you know, you, you just acknowledge that, you know, there probably is a good amount of people that don't support you, but you're still managing to push forward and do so well with this whole thing. That that really speaks a lot. I mean, hey, man, you can't, you can't let them bring you down. That's for, that's a damn fact, man. You know, that's something that Zero saying, I'm saying, you know, I mean, you're going to run into opposition or people that try to bring you down no matter what. There's always going to be that are. one guy trying to bring you down. You may go to work and there's that one cool worker who's an asshole. Wants, wants to put you down every morning. You got to live with him. There's going to be that one guy in class who you hate, that one teacher, that one boss. There's always going to be that one stone in your food. But the thing yeah. is that, are you going to, you know, take out the stone out of your uh, shoe, whatever, and then throw it away and then move on? Or are you going to just sit there and, you know, feel the Complain. pain? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's got philosophy with zero, man. That's going to be a new segment on your channel, dude. Uh, <laughs> I usually do a lot of motivational tweets. Yeah, I've seen, man. And- humble environments dude i come from like picking up fruits for like two dollars an hour and it's like i could barely go to like i could barely dude i come from days where I, me and my mom we couldn't afford lunch but we couldn't afford food in general and we just had, we had to like starve for, and that's just how it is it's fucking chilly i mean what do you expect yeah. and uh yeah. i mean th- there were days like that there were weeks like that there were times like that you know wait, wait like your family just didn't have the resources sometimes to you know yeah yeah i understand yeah yeah so it's like you know that I'm here today. It's like you know I gotta I gotta make it count. I hear you, man. You know. So also another question as well too. So I'm guessing that you know with everything that's been doing really well so far, like you've been able to help out your family and whatnot too, from like across the sea and whatnot. I do. That's something amazing, man. You know because like this is one thing I I don't mean to like change the subject or whatever, but you know just like giving a brief point of reference for people who are watching you know i'm able to help my mom out now you know after all the years of her struggling and you know her not having money and it's an amazing feeling to be able to you know finally have the ability to you know give support rather than always receiving it and i i I can imagine that's how it must feel for you too zero i tell my mom sometimes i'm like mom i'm gonna buy you something expensive and she's like no and i'm like sorry it's already shipped to your house deal with it let's go zero i do that all the time she gets she gets mad when i buy her things (laughs) <laughs> I would love it, man. That it's it's a great feeling, you know, to be able to help out your family like that, especially someone like your mother. It, yeah, man. my mom. My mom usually when when I buy st- stuff, she wants it to like share it with me. Otherwise, she gets really like no. Funny. <laughs> and I'm like, mom, I didn't yeah. do shit for like 15 years. Let me do something. Exactly right. Like you know, like good God, I've been I've I've, been, I've done nothing but take from you. Now I want to give back. You know, like, accept it. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Yeah, I hear you, man. Well, being honest with you, dude, I think this is one of the greatest things I've seen happen to a competitive esports player in Smash in quite a while, dude. And like you said earlier, it's going to open those floodgates, man. And a lot more people are going to be getting sponsored down the line. The, you know, the bigger Smash becomes, the more opportunities are there. Um, do you have any statements like for people who are, you know, just getting into the scene or, you know, are just learning who you are? Mm, like a few words for them to get to know me more? Yeah, um, maybe not. Well, I'm sure they know you a lot after this. Um, but maybe like if they're doubting themselves, or, you know, oh, I don't know if I should, you know, try out Smash Four. It looks like it's really high, you know, really high skill level. What do you have to say to those people? I'm just gonna tell them that um, do things because you wanna do them, not because someone else tells you to do it, or because you want fame or money. If you were to ask me today, I actually made a video about this. But if you ask me, yeah. if you ask me, you know, if you should play Smash because you want money or you want to be popular. Or you wanna be like Mango? Or you wanna be like me? Can you wanna be like me? No, don't play. Don't even bother playing because none of us, none of us thought about it like that. None of us. Yeah. 
you if you, you want to play play because you enjoy the activity you enjoy what it comes with you enjoy the ups and you enjoy the downs and that's what it comes down to just do it because take it one step at a time you know play the game with your friends then maybe you want to take it further but be be simple about it start simple and then make it com more complicated don't don't be an anime kid don't just get into it because you have this huge goal where you're gonna conquer the world through you're gonna be rich and whatnot no no yeah. no 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 like like I, I did youtube videos when i made no money <laughs> and yeah. it was just a hobby i just want like i will go on bro forums and just record with my um camera the game i didn't have a capture card i would just record the game and i would just make videos to help people out and i made them with windows movie maker so <laughs> yeah man i looked into some of your old youtube videos man i was like whoa yeah. <laughs> like, this dude looks so young <laughs> yeah this were my videos that's like oh, like oh, no man. that's I, I i never did it for for this reason so if you see if you only if you're only in it for the results that you see the you no know, the the old people have done it for so long you want to have that and I don't think your intentions are pure. So I think you should not do it because it's not about that. Just do it because you like playing the game and trust me, take it as a take it as a take it as like a, something that you enjoy doing. It's just, just what it comes down to. And I think that's the case with everything as well too, you know, no matter what it is. I mean, if you're gonna do it, make sure you're passionate about it, make sure that you love it. And it's pretty obvious that you love this game as well too, man. You know, you support the scene. Um, you support other competitive players as well, too, which is something that is really kind of surprising for some people. Um, and, you know, there's so many there's so many things that make up the Smash community right now, and Zero can be found in almost every single one of them. Um, when it comes to commentators, when it comes to um, hype, I guess, like myself, and players as well, too, man. You, you're in there, and I think that's why a lot of people um, gravitate towards you, not only because you are the best player, but, you know, you have... A presence when it comes to you know social media you're engaging with the viewers with the um, supporters and that's definitely something that I have to give you props for man you know uh, I, re I really want to congratulate you on your um, on your partnership with TSM but more so of being one of the most being one of the most recognizable human down-to-earth people in the scene right now you know thank you man I appreciate that and I mean I'll just continue being myself it's like uh... I don't know. I think I'm really weird. <laughs> like I'm really weird sometimes, but it's like, I guess the way I look at it is that everyone's kind of weird, but you have to just like accept yourself. So it's like, you know, I mean, this is how I am. You know, some people want to see me go down. Some people want to see me stay on top. But regardless, regardless, you know, just focus on basically focus on the pain that you want to draw the picture with. You know, if you want to see the picture all black because all you see is negative, negativity, then you'll get a black picture. But right? if you focus on all the bright and nice colors, then that's all you're going to see, too. It's a really good breakdown, man. So what's next? Like, what's the next event you're going to go to? I'm going um, to Low Tier City 3 in Texas. Then I'm going to SmashCon in Virginia in, like, hmm. next week. Then i uh, having a little break probably gonna stream a lot and then i'm going to paragon that's like next to my house in september then there's a lot of streaming after that uh, like tons and then there's going to be big house in october and yeah and yeah, that's, yeah. those are the main things for now okay so and at all these events i guess now we can expect to see you in a tsm jacket yeah i'm also going to be teaming with nara on all, on all these events i'm teaming with nara smash Ooh. Paragon, and big house Okay, so that's that's some big news too. God damn, my boy Nairo's in here too, pairing up with Zero with SmashCon. Oh god, all right, let's go, man. I, that you know that's pretty exciting stuff to hear, considering Nairo is definitely top five right now. Big stuff, man. <laughs> yeah, Nairo. I mean, Nairo is easily the second best player. Yeah, I think so too. Not, I'm not just saying that because he's my boy, but yeah, Nairo definitely top, definitely second. Um, yeah, we got to support the waifu movement, man. The, wa the, waifu, the waifu movement. Waifu movement. <laughs> my only waifu is Vanessa. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, it's fine, man. My, my waifu are 2D, though. My waifu are anime 2D, man. I, uh, I can't give that up. <laughs> Vanessa, Vanessa's both 2D and 3D at the same time. Hey, hey, this is a this is esports stream, man. <laughs> this is an esports video, no? <laughs> I'm just playing around. Zero, man. I'm I'm glad to have you. You know, this is really cool, man. We gotta we gotta work on something between us, dude. Like, what what are we gonna do, man? What, what are we gonna, what are we going? When are we gonna work out together? Um, know? just message me on Skype and let's talk. I got some ideas, dude. I got some really big ideas. Just, like, just lay the ideas down on me, and I'll make them happen. 
Yeah, man, that sounds good to me, dude. Um, at some point, we got we to gotta link up in person as well, too, to do these ideas. Because I feel like there's a lot that we can both bring to the table that will be really entertaining for you guys as viewers and also educational at the same time. Um, Zero, man, thanks for coming through. Thank I really appreciate it. Thanks for your time, man. I appreciate it. Uh, definitely, man. And if you guys want to find Zero on his social media links, um, can you tell us what they are? Yeah, my Twitter is at TSM0. My... <laughs> wow, TSM0? Oh, really? Oh, snap. Yeah, my YouTube is at Chilla0, and my Twitch is just zero. Okay, so I'll pull these links up for you guys right now in the um, video, and you can actually find these in the description as well, too. And um, any other links from there, like a YouTube channel or Twitch, you can find those as well, too, in those. So... Yep. Anyway, Zero, once again, thanks a lot, man. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta get on our collab real soon, dude. Sounds good, man. Yeah. Have a good one, dude. Likewise, man. Take care. Thank you. But all right, guys. So that was Gonzalo, the Sinister Scarf Zero, man. What did you think of the interview? Um, it seems like this dude's got a lot in motion when it comes to Smash 4, supporting the scene. I'm excited to see what this man does, and not only for that, but I wasn't just BSing when I said this. I'm excited to see what opportunities open up for other players, because we all know people like Nairo, for instance, he still doesn't have a company himself either. So, like I said, this could definitely be big for supporting our other guys as well, too. Not just Zero, number one. We got number two, number three, number four. All these guys potentially could get support, and that's what I'm happy to see, man. You know, when they're doing well, everybody's doing well. Well, for the most part, at least. Um, guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.